Okay, I'm going to do a simple corner design in Generations. To start with, I'm just going to grab the uh, freehand tool for a square or a rectangle. I'm going to hold down the control key and I'm just going to drag it down. Now I'm going to hit the escape button, select it, control C, control V to highlight it. I'm just going to drop it down and just place it down in here. Grab the two of them and merge them together. Grab the two again, go up to my top button to turn them grey. I'm going to merge them and that's got rid of that area there. Okay, I might have double things there, so I'm just... I don't need that. I can straighten that up again. And generate. Change the colour. Have my in point at the top, my out point to the side. Change to complex fill. Hit my space bar. Go to the complex fill. Select a pattern and I'll do leave 12, click OK and apply OK. And there's the 3D view. I'm just going to alter the direction of it a fraction. And I might just move it around that way and generate. As you see, that's changed the direction of that. OK, now I'm going to grab the circle tool and I can draw a circle. I'm just going to drag that down to the bottom. Control C, Control V, that gives me another one. And I'll grab, grab, that, grab that and put it down the bottom. Select the both of them and I'll change the colour to a darker shade of orange and generate. Now I can get another Hold down the control key and we'll just bring that down in there. Select it, complex fill and generate. Change the colour, control C and V to copy it and drop it down. I'm just going to bring it over to the other side here and generate. That was very quick, very easy corner design. All you have to do now is go to File, Save As, save your Gen file, and then save your um, file in the format that you want that your sewing machine uses. Okay, I hope you enjoyed that quick and easy lesson. Okay, now we can actually click on to the side here. Uh, which will get all the, the actual designs, parts that are in that colour. We'll change it to dark yellow. Now grab those two and I'm going to change it for a paler yellow. And I'm going to move to the bottom. Now we've got the outside, that one, that one and the two. And we'll just generate. OK, select them all and generate. And there you have your design with your two colours on this side. I hope you enjoyed the lesson.